Hi, this is Zach Mir, editor of Spreadbet Magazine, with a look at some of the Far Eastern stock markets in the wake of the latest 300-point one-day drop for the Dow Jones and the ongoing meltdown that we're seeing uh, for stocks in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, seems to be quite weak also uh, in the Far East. Uh, the Shanghai Composite here has been in a negative uh, price channel uh, since the beginning of last year. We've had a dead cross between the 50-day and 200-day moving averages, uh, sell signal at the end of December, and there is downside follow-through on that, albeit not quite as strong as you might uh, perhaps expect. Uh, but the message here really is that while below the 200-day moving average at 22.37, we would be looking for further downside. Any uh, rally here would be a, um, a selling opportunity uh, for a retest of June support towards 1900, 1950 over the next uh, one to two months. Uh, the negative momentum is also backed by, by a resistance line in the RSI window running through neutral 50. And there's been a couple of failures here at this line over the past few days. Moving even further east uh, to the Japanese market. And uh, here it can be seen that, we, that there's a sort of topping out process uh, uh, in, in progress here. Uh, basically, the big sec signal here was... Uh, the December, uh, sorry, the January February uh, bull trap through the uh, May resistance zone of 16,000. We've had an island top. We've had two unfilled gaps to the downside. One of them through the 50-day moving average at 15,317, and it would appear now that we're looking at uh, a minimum test of the 200-day uh, moving average at 14,205. Uh, probably the worst case scenario at this stage is a retest of June support towards 12,500. And uh, that really obviously would uh, get the bulls uh, on the run, uh, given how much of a, a dead certainty, inverted commas, this market looked uh, to be in terms of following uh, dollar yen uh, to the upside. Uh, I'm finishing off with the uh, Hang Seng. And uh, here we see probably um, um, well the most blatant signal of the three uh, markets here. Unfilled gap through the 200-day moving average at 22,497. Uh, classic sell signal. You can also see the post-September uh, head and shoulders formation, right-hand shoulder below the 50-day uh, moving average at 23,162. And really one would expect this market to roll over at least towards 21,500, which was the August support, uh, and probably uh, back down to uh, 20,000 over the next two to three months. So uh, a very, very negative picture here for the Hang Seng. Uh, any strength towards the 200-day moving average uh, now at 22,497 would be regarded as a shorting opportunity, which uh, probably the bears would welcome with open arms. There's also this uh, line of resistance in the RSI window just above uh, 50, uh, which preempted the downside move. That's it from me. See you again next time.